private buffoon is a light-hearted loon if you listen to popular rumor. From the morn to the night, he's so joyous and bright, and he bubbles with wit and good humor. He's acquaintance of terse, but in prose and in verse, and though people forgive his transgression, there are one or two rules that all family fools must observe if they love the profession. There are one or two rules, half a dozen may be, that all family fools of whatever degree must observe if they love the profession. If you wish to succeed as a jester, you'll need to consider each person's auricular. What is all right for B will quite scandalize C, and C is so very particular. And D is so dull, and he's very thick skull, it's as empty your brain's a ladle, while F is F sharp, and will cry with a car. That he's known your best joker in his cradle. When you're humanly flapped, you can't let yourself go, and it does put you out, but a person says, Oh, I've known that old joke from me cradle. If your master is surly from getting up early and tempers are short in the morning, an inopportune joke is enough to provoke him to give you at once a month's warning. Then if you refrain when he's at you again, for he loves to get value for money, he'll ask then and there with an insolent stare. If you know that you're paid to be funny, it adds to the task of a merry man's place. When his principal asks with a scowl on his face, do you know that you're paid to be funny? Comes a bishop, maybe, or a solemn DD, or beware of his anger provoking. Better not pull his hair, don't stick pins in his chair, he don't understand practical joking. If the jokes that you crack have an orthodox smack, you may get a bland smile from these sages. But should they, by chance, be imported from a France? Ha ha half a crown is stopped out of your wages. It's a general rule, though your zeal it may quench. If the family fool tells a joke that's too French, half a crown is stopped out of his wages. <laughs> though your head it may rack from a bilious attack and your senses from toothache you're losing. Don't be mopey or flat, they can't find you for that if you're properly quaint and amusing. Though your wife ran away with a soldier that day and to wither your trifle of money, bless your heart, they don't mind. They're exceedingly kind. They don't blame you as long as you're funny. It's a comfort to feel if your partner should flit. Though it hurts you a deal, they don't mind it a bit. They don't blame you as long as you're funny. So you would be a jester, eh? Oi! Now listen to me. My sweetheart, Elsie Maynard, was secretly wed to this Fairfax half hour before he escaped. She did well. She did nothing of the kind. So hold your peace and pretend. 